all, let me take you through the walkthrough for the Vanderbilt MBA application. And with this, let's start with the 2024 MBA application. Open up the application. And let's see at what are the sections that the school requires you to fill for the application process. Uh, it's important to take a look at the application instructions, decide what round you want to apply to, whether you are submitting a test score or you want to go and go for an approve. Um, Go for a test waiver. If you want to opt for a test waiver, then you need to apply for it uh, prior to starting your application. So it's it's the the best time is now if you want to go and apply for a test waiver. So the application form starts with adding your personal information, add about yourself, your location, your contact details, and the next part of uh, this application is the program uh, information. So you need to add about whether you are a re-applicant or not in this section above all. And let's say it, it is yes. And then add about your primary area of interest and a secondary area of interest, following which you go to the section, which is the test scores. So in terms of the test scores, the Vanderbilt MBA application will require the GMAT, the GMAT focus, the GRE, or the executive assessment scores. These are the scores which are acceptable for this program. Uh, waive the requirement of submitting your test score, then you need to apply for an application uh, for a test score waiver, which you can, uh, uh, which you have to do as a separate uh, process. It cannot be done from within this form itself. So uh, if you are applying through these test scores, so another thing is about your English proficiency test. So if you are an Indian applicant, then in that case, you don't need to submit the TOEFL or the IELTS or the Duolingo English test because Vanderbilt uh, recognizes English as the official language for uh, Indians. So Indian applicants do not need to submit any test of uh, the English proficiency for the Vanderbilt MBA application. If you are writing your GMAT or your GRE or your executive assessment later on at a future test date, then you just need to add that information, add the test that you are taking and what is the scheduled date that you have planned. So this completes the test score area of your application, moving on to the education history. So education history requires your unofficial transcripts at this point in time. So you need to add your institutions, add your, uh, you know, wherever you have graduated from, you add the country and add the in institution, add the duration, tenure, level of study, and attach the PDF or the scanned pages of your unofficial scores. Your official scores will be required by August 1 of the year that you are starting the program. So before that, you will not need that. You will also need to add your undergraduate institution and the CGPA that you gained plus your institution type. Is it a two-year college or what was the institution that you studied at? This will help the school benchmark it against the other international programs. And what is the highest level of education? Once you have added all of this information, you are more or less done with this section and we can go to the employment history section at the employment history section. Again, this is about your work experience. So you need to add it in the chronologically reverse order. So add your most recent work experience first and then go backwards on this over here. You need to apart from the rest of the information about your work experience. That means your organization and your starting position, your salary and the contact details for the organization, there is a requirement of a job description. What was your job description and an organization URL. So this is an important section for international applicants because a lot of companies that you might have worked with might not be known internationally. So if you attach the URL over here, it does uh, you know, help the school understand uh, your work experience in a better way. Apart from that, you need to add your LinkedIn profile and your current uh, employer if you are not uh, employed currently you can just write not applicable over here and then add the total years of experience that you have total years of management experience that you have are you in any kind of an obligation to go back to the same company or do you plan to go back to the same company and then what is your you know post mba industry and job function that you plan to take up uh, you need to add your post industry uh, so post MBA choice of industry as well as your post MBA choice of function along with a resume. So you need to attach the word document or the PDF copy of your resume in this section. The next section that is required for the Vanderbilt MBA application is the additional information. Additional information. This area is uh, the family information section is totally optional. 
you can add about your family your spouse your partners or your children this will uh, be an additional information for the school apart from that you need to add about your vanderbilt connections in case you know there is an employee who is known to you or has, you know you are uh, he's an uncle or guardian you just need to add that or if you have a current student or an alumni who is known to you who is also related to vanderbilt this is an information that you need to provide over here have you already previously applied to any other program at vanderbilt this is also uh, something that you need to add over here and in case you are currently also studying at vanderbilt this is some information that goes into the additional information section you can also add uh, information about you know whether you are a member of any of these institutions or if you are a first generation college student so if you are the first person from your family to complete a four year college or a university degree this is an additional information that you can add in this section so once this section is done we go to the statements section statements means your essays and the vanderbilt application will require uh three essays because we selected the reapplicant uh, status so the one is of course the reapplication essay that means you need to talk about how your profile has changed since the last time you applied the two other essays that are required one is about your career goals and how will the program help you and uh, the other one is about yourself something else which is not captured anywhere in the application so these things plus additionally you have optional essays one is the standard optional essay where you can talk about a weak gpa or maybe a career gap plus an interesting fact this is optional there is 400 characters to share something interesting about yourself plus attach a head head shot photograph so that will be also be a part of your application at the vanderbilt mba program so these are the uh, attachments with respect to the essays so the mba program also provides a lot of scholarship opportunities one is the dean scholar award so for this you need to add another statement of around 300 words talking about how you relate or um, you know how your experience relates to the guiding principles at the vanderbilt mba so you need to put a statement with respect to that or if you are applying for the reach out mba fellowship then you need to add another 300 words of a statement uh talking about your experience with respect to uh you know the your fitment with this fellowship so these are two additional uh, sections that you might have to write essays for apart from that you need to add your activities and honors so if you have been engaged in any activities at the community personal or the professional level this is the place to add that information plus any awards that you have received for any academic community or professional uh levels that is something also that you can add over here name the activity talk about your role over here give the duration and the tenure and then describe what is the level of activity that you had what motivated you or what was the honor that you received uh, received uh you know then you can also talk slightly about your achievement as well the vanderbilt mba application does also require a video response so there is uh this section is from within the application you will have three attempts and you will have for uh, the question that comes on the screen you will have 30 seconds to prepare and up to 90 seconds to record your response you can do it thrice if you're not uh, satisfied with the first one you can always change and uh, you know resubmit your response but to a maximum of three responses for the vanderbilt mba application you just need one uh, recommender so you just need to add the details for your recommender the application form the recommendation form will go to your recommender through an online automated system and the format that is used is the gmac common letter of recommendation so this will be openly available you can also share this information with your recommender and uh, when you add the information he can fill up the uh, recommendation with Uh, the context of your relationship professionally with him and how he has seen you growing as a professional finally it is time to sign off you just need to uh, add your signature review the application once and this is all about uh, this is all about filling up the vanderbilt mba application so all the best and um, do add your uh, do add your questions in the comments and we'll be happy to address them 
make sure that as an applicant to the Vanderbilt MBA program, you do reach out to the school, participate in the outreach activities. Also, uh, you know, you should also participate in the webinars and reach out to the school so that you understand more about the school, reach out to the alumni through the LinkedIn portal, uh, talk to the current students, know more about the program. It will only strengthen your application. Your uh, essays will be much stronger and much more connected when you are applying after this research. So all the best 